The safety pilots will mean three tons of heavy lifting for the crew. Spiker and Mind Death, this program contains scenes of real car crashes and car crime, which may distress some viewers. In Car Crash Britain, one thing is certain idiot plus car equals catastrophe. And with more and more vehicles on the road, Inevitably, this means more near misses like this. And more incidents where the drivers aren't quite so lucky. Chase fortune favoured the getaway driver, even though he broke just about every rule in the highway code. In Bolton, the police were making a house call when this banned driver... ...possible. But with 11 million leaked documents, there are more revelations to come and further questions about the secrecy of offshore finance. Simon Cox, BBC News. And to find out more about the Panama Papers and the reaction, have a look at our website, bbc.co.uk forward slash Panama Papers, for all the very latest and all the background. An Indian entrepreneur who is considering taking over Tata's steel business in the UK says he believes the operation can be turned around. Sanjeev Gupta is meeting government ministers to discuss the future of the Port Talbot steelworks in South Wales and other Tata sites. Our business correspondent John Moylan reports. The Port Talbot steelworks in Wales, the heart of Tata Steel's UK operations. But seven days ago, the firm's 15,000 workers were told the entire business was being put up for sale. This morning, the Welsh First Minister was in Downing Street for urgent talks with the Chancellor, the Business Secretary and the Prime Minister as pressure mounts on the government to step in. It was a productive meeting. Uh, things had moved on. There's interest from the players, although this is, of course, uh, a very early stage. There are a number of issues that will need to be resolved. But what's useful is that the two governments can work together, I believe, to resolve those uh, issues uh, and uh, look to uh, work with prospective uh, buyers uh, in order to preserve these jobs in our communities in the future. And could this man be a potential buyer? Sanjeev Gupta heads Liberty House, which has been snapping up steel firms. In 2013, it brought this steelworks in Newport back to life. Last November, it bought parts of the Caparo Group. Last month,